The Genetic Engineering of Insulin by kscience.com. I'm now going to explain how we produce insulin using genetic engineering. So we firstly remove the pancreatic cell, a pancreatic cell from the pancreas of somebody. So this is a pancreatic cell. We then identify the chromosomes. So these are the chromosomes inside the nucleus. And then what we do is we identify our gene. This here is the insulin gene, and we identify the gene. We identify the insulin gene that we want to remove. We now use restriction enzymes. We use restriction enzymes to cut the DNA out. So these are restriction enzymes that we use. And what restriction enzymes do is they cut the gene out of the chromosomes. They cut the DNA out of the chromosome. We've now identified and cut out the insulin gene, exposing the sticky ends. Exposing the sticky ends. Sticky ends are unpaired bases on the gene. Unpaired bases. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. After using restriction enzyme to cut out the target gene, we now get a bacterial cell. And this here is a plasmid DNA section. And then we remove this. So we extract the plasmid DNA from the bacteria. We extract the plasmid DNA from the bacteria. We've now got the plasmid DNA extracted. This is the extracted plasmid DNA. And then we use restriction enzymes. We use restriction enzymes on the plasmid as well. This does the same thing as before. It exposes sticky ends on the plasmid DNA, which are unpaired bases. So it cuts the plasmid exposing sticky ends. So recap, we get the bacterial cell. We remove the plasmid DNA from the bacteria. We then use restriction enzymes to cut the DNA of the plasmid, exposing sticky ends, which are unpaired bases. So we've got our insulin gene, our target gene that we want to express with sticky ends. We've got the plasmid DNA. So we've got the plasmid DNA and our insulin gene. Sticky ends of the insulin gene base pair with the plasmid DNA sticky ends. And we use an enzyme called ligase. Ligase is an enzyme that is going to join the insulin gene to the plasmid DNA. So ligase joins the unpaired bases of the sticky ends together by hydrogen bonds. So it joins the unpaired bases of both sticky ends by hydrogen bonds. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We now have recombinant DNA in a vector. This is a vector whereby any molecule of DNA used to transfer new DNA into another organism is called a vector. So now what we've got is our bacteria. And we're now going to put this vector, which has our insulin gene, back into the bacterial cell. The insulin gene is in the vector of the plasmid DNA. What we now do is we get a big vat and we now replicate the bacterial cells. So the bacterial cells are going to replicate. So bacteria with the recombinant insulin gene now replicate and divide very quickly. So what now happens is that this insulin gene is now expressed. The bacteria now produce insulin. They express the insulin and it is all the same insulin because it's from the same single DNA vector. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow.
and if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.